Simon. I hope you're doing well. And congratulations on your new film. And thank you for taking a little bit of your time to talk to me. I appreciate it. Of course, I appreciate it too. So uh, Simon, this is your second feature directing. So how was this sophomore outing experience for you compared to the first one? And what did you learn about yourself as a director and a storyteller that will help you perhaps in, in future gigs? Well, um, it was so different. I mean, the first movie was an X-Men movie. So the scale and scope of it was, and the visual effects element of it was just so massive. And, you know, I was used to that scale of movie from obviously having written and produced a lot of those films. Um, and I also knew that cast really well because we'd made many movies together. And in this case, I knew Jessica really, really well because we'd made The Martian and, and one of the X-Men's together. Um, but the rest of the cast was pretty new to me. I knew Penelope a little bit from Murder on the Orient Express. I think that, um, you know, really what I learned from this experience, which was um, more like kind of down and dirty and in the streets and on locations um, and really kind of intimate with the actors, um, was that I like this kind of filmmaking. Um, and it was more handheld and it was just, it just had more of like a loose kinetic feel to it. And, um, I think that's what I learned. I really learned that like, I like, um, I certainly wouldn't call this indie filmmaking. It's still a big movie of scope and scale. Um, but that I like films where, you know, they don't rely on visual effects, um, and that you're really seeing in the frame, what's going to be, um, on the screen. Uh, that's exciting to me. And it feels like I'm in the movie when I'm shooting it. I'm not in a green screen stage. Definitely. Uh, uh, I also wanted to ask you, uh, tell you one of the things I really enjoyed and appreciated about the film is that besides having these strong women kicking ass and saving the world, you took the time to take them to the side and show us their personal lives, show us what's at stake, their, their, their mothers, their wives, their partners, that we don't usually see that anymore i don't think and in, in, in this type of film so was this a main focus for you when telling the story because uh like i said we usually don't see this yeah i, I appreciate you saying that 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 for sure was a focus for all of us myself and the actresses i mean this was a very very collaborative process from the very beginning i mean we had the actresses before we had the script um we all went to can together and sold this movie uh me and the and the lead actresses in 2018 Um, and then, and then uh, Teresa Rebeck wrote the first draft of the script and then I wrote subsequent drafts and, and, but I wrote them really with the actresses. We, we would sit around at, at tables together and talk. We would have one-on-one -on -one meetings and build these characters. And, and one of the things that was really important to us and, I, and we felt like could be unique about this film is that with all of the fights and chases and action that you come to expect and, and, that, and hopefully this movie delivers, Um, you don't get to follow most spies home. You don't really get to know what, you don't get to know them. Um, and, and that's possibly by design, you know, maybe there's a reason that you don't know Ethan Hunt and James Bond and Jason Bourne, that there's like an aspect of like kind of sort of the everyman superhero model um, that, that works for them. But we felt like there was an opportunity, especially Um, and I felt like, especially with this extraordinary cast of these, you know, Oscar winning, Oscar nominated across the board actresses, that um, that we could do something that felt both intimate and epic at the same time. Um, and that, for me, would be the goal in everything I work on going forward is like to sort of balance the intimate and the epic. Well, I gotta say, you you delivered on the on the whole action aspect of the film, but I think it's so refreshing, and I really enjoyed it and appreciate it you doing this with the, with this incredible cast and story. So again, congratulations on your new film and thank you for taking a little bit of your time to talk to me. I appreciate it. Stay safe, sir. And saludos from uh, Puerto Rico. Same, same to you. You stay safe and good talking to you.